Hi everyone, another Walkies with Betty video here. Hope everybody's doing fine. It's a beautiful rainy day here on Moon Crater Boulevard. Thought we'd take a little break in between rain squalls here. Betty doesn't like walking in the rain. Actually, days like this are really uh, good days to go out and take photographs. Especially of creeks and waterfalls. The wet foliage makes for nice, beautiful, lush colors. You can use your polarizer to polarize the wet foliage to make it look green. And what it does is it takes the reflection off of the leaves. Because when they're wet, it reflects the sky and the sky is kind of white on a day like today. So. If you take your polarizer and turn it, you can bring the color out in the leaves. And I do that a lot in my photographs. So. so if you don't have a circular polarizer in your bag, you should have one in there. You know, won't use it all the time, but you'll use it a lot. So I've had people ask me what the difference between a circular polarizer and a, and a neutral density filter is. And so essentially, it's really easy. The... Uh, the circular polarizer, it shifts the light and will take reflections out and it will also bend the light to allow the sky to look more blue. And so it affects, it affects the optics of the photograph in odd ways to help enhance your photographs. Whereas a neutral density filter is just that it's neutral it shouldn't affect your photograph in any way some of the less expensive neutral density filters have a color cast to them but uh, you're going to want to get a uh, filter that has uh, the least amount of color cast to it so if you're going to get a good neutral density filter all it does is block light so it's kind of like putting sunglasses on your camera so that's the difference between a neutral density filter and a uh, and a uh, circular polarizer now a circular polarizer will block light too usually it'll stop a couple stops of light from coming in and so uh, if you're trying to extend your shutter speed a little bit longer you're going to want to put a neutral density filter on it stops light it allows you to the camera thinks it's darker outside so it allows you to make your shutter speed longer okay um, and a circular polarizer will also stop a couple stops of light, like I had said previously. So, yeah, so it's really pretty easy. And once you start using them, you can see the difference, no doubt. So, let me see if I can get a little Betty in the shot here. Hold on. ask well what's a graduated neutral density filter graduated neutral density filter is a filter that's only got part of the filter covered with a darker glass or okay so you can take that filter and put it over the top part of your 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 composition where there's a bright sky or something like that and it blocks light up there, but yet underneath, there's no darkness on the filter. It allows light to come through, so it graduates from a neutral density filter to no <coughs> neutral density filter. So, and they can be a little tricky to use. I don't use them very often, but I have some in my in my bag. So, got hard graduations, soft graduations. You've got reverse neutral density filters and stuff like that. So. Someday I'll get into a more detailed <coughs> um, description of how to use filters, but I try my best not to use a filter any more than I have to. 
And really the only one I really can't get away with not having in my bag is my circular polarizer. There are days when it's kind of nice to have a, a neutral density filter in your bag. Maybe for a bright day if you want to extend your shutter speed a little bit longer to take care of a, uh, to do a, a longer shutter speed on a creek or something like that, maybe you put a neutral density filter on. So I would rather go out on a day like today where it's a little darker, it's misty, it's wet, it's ethereal feeling all by itself. And so you have to work less to be able to create these beautiful misty forest creek and waterfalls photographs that I make sometimes. So hope that makes sense and I hope that kind of helps with understanding filters. I know it was just a quick little discussion about them, but really it's that simple. It's pretty simple. So yeah. Getting a little bit dark out here and having a hard time getting it to focus and stuff so we're gonna go inside call it quits here so I hope that uh, helps you guys understand neutral density filters a little bit better kind of use my walkies with vi Betty video today to kind of explain a little bit about photography two uh, two birds one stone so just want to say thanks for everything thanks for watching my YouTube channel click down there and like it and subscribe it and I'll be putting some more up. Thanks. Love you guys. Appreciate everything you do for me. Talk to you soon. Bye.